cool, keeping it cool in here. That's what it's all about, keeping it cool and keeping it hot. We're here at the, at, uh, the Sunbury Blues Festival, sponsored by the local chapter of the Lions Club, serving Sun Prairie since 1933. Can I have a big hand for the Lions Club? We've been doing it for six years here at the festival, and 79 years by my quick demo map around the community. That's a long time, folks. Big hand for the Lions Club. Want to make sure to thank those folks, and remember that all the proceeds from today will be used for all the Lions Club programs within the city and within the Madison and uh, Wisconsin region. So your efforts here are staying here. Thank you very kindly for that. If you need help from anyone, have any questions, concerns, two places to go. One is the Lions Club tent right over there where they're quickly selling out of t-shirts. They've got no more two XLs as I quickly found out a little while ago. Um, and also the people who are wearing the chartreuse colored t-shirts that say security. Those are other people you can talk to in case there's any need to have anybody help you out a little bit. Want to also thank WRT Radio, the Park Bank, Sun Prairie Tourism Commission, the Star, Sun Prairie's newspaper, Frank Beer Distributors and Miller Beer, with plenty of fine offerings in back, including Miney's Oktoberfest, hint, hint. We have Eddie's Ale House, Sun Prairie Lions Club, as I said, and the Guitar Center of Madison once again, and Bill Teft over there. Bill, you want to hold that nice little guitar up there? That is the raffle item, ladies and gentlemen. They are, all the bands, are, every member of it, are signing that guitar. You can pick up your raffle tickets right over there under the tent and make sure to get involved in that. The runner-up will get passed to the upcoming Brewers game along with a parking pass. So you can have a chance to go see one more game here at Miller Park before the end of the year. Way in the back is the food court featuring Jamaica Restaurant, Papa Bear's Barbecue, Panda Garden, Pan, Panda Garden Chinese Restaurant, thank you very much. I can say that easily. Hi, also the Sunbury BFW Post, number 9362, the Golden Days Bakery, Domino's Pizza, Kettle Corn, the Village Bakery. And as we mentioned, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages around here. So, as we're looking around here, are we ready, Kenny? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have anything written up about these guys because I've basically set it all up. But we are so very fortunate to have had this band taking roots here in Dane County. These guys are on the national scene. Just last year, their CD was at the top of the national blues charts, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have your attention on that? Holler and Stop made the top of the national blues charts when it was released last year. John Wilson right there has held his own group together for a number of years and managed to get it out to the Blind Pig label in San Francisco where they got picked up. You'll also note a special guest here with these guys, a little preview for later today. That's Barrel House Chuck on the keyboards. Barrel House Chuck, who I'll tell you, has also got a heck of a career and a resume. He was just out, in fact, with Kim Wilson of the Fabulous Thunderbirds playing, as well as a few other things that we'll talk about when we introduce him later. Um, here's Bo Sample. Bo Sample, you might see him with the modern sounds if you go to Chicago or with a few of the other acts down there. Came out of San Antonio and now is quite the, pro uh, the proclaimed bassist around the Chicago scene. Back there, awaiting his next introduction, in the blue shirt, wearing number 23 before the Cashbox Kings. That's Oscar Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, the King of 43rd Street, the man who can Which he'll tell you about a little later. On drums, the, the legend of the legend, Kenny Smith, son of the late great Willie Big Eye Smith. It runs in the family, folks, and it's a heck of a run. And this gentleman over here, who also should need no introduction, but I'm here to gladly do it for him. One of the most demanded session players in Chicago. Yes, he's got a Grammy for it for having done the soundtrack to Cadillac Records. That's Billy Flynn over there. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cashbox Kings. Mm -hmm. 